Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. The Levo League is the first professional network designed to inspire and enable Generation Y women to build amazing careers. Caroline Goshen and Amanda Pusho are co-founders of Levo. Well, here we are with Amanda and Caroline of Levo League. So I'm so excited to have you guys here, first of all. What is Levo League? The Levo League is an online community that's also offline for Gen Y women who are driven in their careers. And Levo actually means elevate in Latin. Okay, and so So the what... real goal of Levo is to elevate, you know, the per career performance and career happiness of 20-somethings in their first 10 years. Okay. So what we do Which is... Which I love. Thank you. I mean, I wish, yeah, I, I just like <laughs> wish I, it, this was around, you know, years ago. Exactly. Absolutely. And I think part of the reason that we've been able to get such fantastic women on board who have so much more experience in their careers is exactly that feeling of, if only I had had this association of women that I could lean on, and if only I had, I had had this type of career advice and these job opportunities, imagine how much further my career would have progressed or how much yeah. faster. Well, and so, yeah, who are some of the great women you have involved? Oh my goodness, there's so many incredible women that have just, you know, been both mentors, sponsors, and investors. and. I think one of our favorite, well, I think we shouldn't say who's our favorite. There's <laughs> no, no favorite. No. There are no favorites. <laughs> no favorites. No favorites. Um, but I think someone that we've gotten to work really closely with and who's also an investor and advisor is Gina Bianchini. And I think there's no cooler woman out there who's got more energy and just and tells you. And she's great. She's a great entrepreneur. Yeah, she and, is. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. What are some of the services that you guys offer? Because I know you have some mentorship through mm -hmm. um, the site. And so how does all that work? Yeah, we have this great thing called office hours. And we actually have career office hours and then we have mentor office hours. So for example, this Thursday, um, Denise Morrison, the CEO of Campbell's Soup Company, spent half Amazing. an hour <laughs> I taking love questions. Campbell's Soup. She's Who gonna doesn't? love to hear that. Wait, <laughs> let me grab you. There's now soup in a pooch. They have, they have soup in a bag now. Exactly. Soup in a bag. It's a microwave. Soup in a pooch. Soup in a pooch. I'm sorry. Soup in a pooch now. Like, <laughs> or pouch. Maybe it's a pouch. It's a pooch. I don't know. So how do people sign up? So it's completely free. You go to labelleague.com. Wait, wait, wait. Repeat that. It's free. Free. It's like. Like free. zero, like free It will 99. always be free for the members. That's one thing that we yeah. have, you know, that, that's always been a core value. Um, we will never charge for membership. We have a completely different business model than that. The whole point of this is that it's a social enterprise. And so if we're charging you for advice that doesn't really resonate yeah. in the yeah. same way, does it? I completely agree. I mean, it really confuses me when people charge for things like, you know, I hear this term life coach all the time. Mm -hmm. Jesse, don't worry. We're going to life coach you for free later yeah. with some thinking talent cards. Thinking talent. <laughs> Tell me about these thinking talent cards. Amanda, <laughs> okay. go for it. So um, one of the things that, you know, is really important is to get to know yourself and your strengths okay. and your talents. And your talent is just something you're really, really good at. Okay. You might be really good at a lot of things, but your thinking talent is what just comes naturally to you. So like, for example, you know, goal setting. Goal setting is one of Caroline's thinking talents. Right, thank you. This is like, <laughs> we're like being fortune tellers here. Let's yeah. Like a card. Career Jesse. fortune tellers. Career. Career oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. So I would assume that you're probably, this card probably means is a lot for you. It's storytelling. Storytelling. I do love telling stories. <laughs> How can I bring these ideas to life with a story? Needs to explain by painting vivid pictures until others are inspired to act. By painting, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had mean, to paint, I had to paint everything pink in order <laughs> for people to act. In order for people to act. Yeah. And you're based in New York City. Mm -hmm. We are. And um, do you like the tech scene out there? It's different. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long silence. We're Stanford and Berkeley grads. Oh, Go Bears. right, oh, right, right, right. I know. I heard there's a big rivalry. There is. Here. That's why we're on opposite sides yes. of the couch. <laughs> and fortunately for you, this is pink and neither red nor blue. So yes, we're that in was a good life decision. Yeah, for it you. was. Just, <laughs> that was a great life decision. Yeah, definitely. I think I did that on purpose. Clearly, you yeah, know, I knew that eventually you would be on my show. What was the <laughs> moment you decided to start this company? Oh wow! I think. There's no single moment. I think yeah. entrepreneurship, especially for women, is a journey. Um, I think if you had asked Caroline and I, even two years ago, if we thought that this and would where, where did, would we you be? met at McKinsey. McKinsey yeah. on our first day of training. It was a Berkeley Stanford love affair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> go Bears. We were across the room from each other. She called me out. I did. It was good. great. I answered the question though. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> 
just had to make sure those Stanford kids are on their toes. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, entrepreneurship, I think it's not one thing. And I think a lot of times people aren't exactly honest about how they became entrepreneurs and right. are like, oh, it was really easy. I just woke up one day and I was like, yeah, company time. Yeah, where are those people? <laughs> I mean, I would love to meet them. I've yeah, I would love to be like one that. of those because that is to New York. not. <laughs> You'll meet them. Because <laughs> <laughs> entrepreneurship was something that kind of like – First, I was getting dragged, and then I was like, you're coming with me, Caroline. And then, you know, it just dragged, and, like, life things keep happening and happening, and you just realize that you can help people. And right. I think the best companies come out of wanting to change the world for the better, and I agree there can be large profits with that, but our first goal is to change the world for the better and make life easier for young women. And we also believe you can make a lot of money doing that in a very ethical way. What are you the most excited about that you guys are working on? Ooh. I think that's a really hard yeah, question. Yeah, I think that's like asking what's your favorite kid. I think my favorite thing that we're working on right now, there's a couple, but what I'm really jazzed about is Local Levo. And Local Levo are our local efforts. And they actually came from us just listening. We didn't think we would go right. in the grassroots level of or in the in-person connecting. And it was really our community that drove that and was like, hey, I want this. So we've created these communities um, in right now we're in New York, uh, LA, San Francisco, Chicago, Miami, and Seattle are coming very soon. And so is London. And then we have DC and Boston Amazing. on the way. It's really and fun. it's all driven by the community. And it's all about connecting in person and then connecting online as well. And, you know, it's, it's just so thrilling to see the things that are happening in those groups. We're seeing job posts go from job post to actual f connections about how to get that job mm -hmm. to right now there's 13 people in our New York group looking for roommates. Wow. Like just talking With to each, each other. other. <laughs> to be like, hey, I need a roommate. To, you know, it's just to people that are, there's new grads in Chicago that are talking about, hey, I'm a new grad. I'm terrified. I moved here without a job. What do I do? And then three other people respond immediately and go, that was me. Don't worry. It will work out. Right. And there's something about it will work out coming from someone, your peer, Versus coming from like a professor or you know a parent or an someone who's person. now you know yeah. successful and yeah. relaxed, right? Who's forty years ahead of you on the trajectory? Not the same. Okay, so Amanda, I need to talk to you about something. Yes, I noticed your shoes. Yeah, aren't they awesome, Carol? <laughs> look at these. Yeah. What's up? Where did They're, you get those, Amanda? Yeah, exactly. I made them. Cause I'm you made <laughs> you made the shoes. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm pretty also sure a cobbler. I'm pretty sure I got a picture of you <laughs> earlier. Stealing my shoes. I wouldn't call it stealing. It's okay. I'm wearing my backup pink shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. But you so definitely cute. stole my shoes. I borrowed. You borrowed them? Yes. Oh, you borrowed. So you did take my shoes. <laughs> no, I made them. And then I gave them to you and I borrowed them. Oh, you borrowed them back. <laughs> yeah. You gave them. Okay. So you're a thief, basically. <laughs> Don't leave statement necklaces around. Yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> I just, you know what? I just really like your style. Well, thanks. I love, okay, speaking of style, <laughs> you guys are both wearing pink, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I love it. What is one piece of advice you would both give um, a young female wannabe entrepreneur? Um, go for it. Just, just, you gotta be a little delusional. And you got to you, you, <laughs> you gotta be a little bit like, okay, bring it on. Like, I, you know, you got to be willing to do everything. There's days when we're taking the trash out of the office. And then there's days when we're doing things like getting to sit here and talk to you. And, and you just got to go for it and know that there's going to be really, really bad moments. And then there's going to be absolutely unbelievable things that you're like, this is my life, no way. And then in two hours, you're going to be like, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> and just know that if you believe in yourself, and that you find a really great support network mm -hmm. that believes in you, but that is also honest with you. You just gotta go for it. I love it. What would you say? I think for me, it's about um, really learning how to be centered. So once you've gone for it, I think it's really important to remain, find the things that make you feel centered and calm, and then hold on to those things, because at the end of the day, you have to take care of yourself to be a good leader, um, and to continue to push the vision that you have for your company forward. Because being in a startup is very physically and mentally exhausting, and you've gotta, you've gotta treat it like a marathon, right? Take care of your body, take care of your mindset, and, and keep going. So I was thinking we should figure out who is the best dancer. And in order to do that, I think we should do it to Gangnam Style, the Korean phenomenon. Are you ready? Oh,
Japan Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 Gangnam Style. I'm like the Valley Girl. I'm like Amanda. I'm like Caroline. And we're, we're like, like the, the Labo League. League. So many girls everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for your dits moment. Yeah, so what was like the moment of inception for you? Yes, I mean, I, I think <laughs> apparently someone came into my dreams. <laughs> Leo DiCaprio had a big part in this. Oh, um, he did? No. <laughs> Inception, I didn't read the that. movie. Oh, in <laughs> <laughs>